DSS boss on his news as evidence proved Namde Kano is innocent, thereby ordered him to be sentenced for conspiracy. Okay, my people, now DSS boss uh, Naim them actually they uh, they call then then they call for him arrest and sentence over conspiracy and um you know humiliation on the ipop either why he was still in detention why is even still in detention the dss boss has been allegated of conspiring with um, corrupt politicians to continue detaining punishing and um, keeping the ipop leader unjustly in prison i haven't known the truth you can see what um, our wicked uh, politicians can do and the evil that is in their end nothing enough you do my people i tell you now and that is why it is now becoming very clear that the bad ones the bad people in this country are numerous them plenty them bracket you cannot count them <laughs> I'm still wondering why they don't want Namde Kano to be released. I'm still wondering. Even Tina. You get it. Okay. Uh, without wasting much time, my people, let's just quickly swap into the content. And then let's know what uh, what actually uh, actually is cooking up. You understand? Okay. Um, meanwhile, don't forget click on the red subscribe buttons to subscribe to this channel so that each time we upload any new videos you'll be updated this is today's broadcast Aloy Ejima called special counsel to Namde Kano the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP on Tuesday countered the ruling of the Abuja Freda High Court Ejimako said, contrary to the court's ruling, Kano's legal team submitted a legal of evidence. On Monday, Justice James Omotosho had dismissed Kano's 1 billion naira suit against the Nigerian government and the Department of State Services, DSS. The judge said there was no evidence that the Department of State Services DSS prevented Kano from having access to his lawyers in their custody. Justice Omotosho said Kano failed to provide credible evidence to back his allegations that DSS and its Director General Yusuf Bichi violated his fundamental rights. Kano, through his lawyer, Aloy H. Marco, had sued the Nigerian government and to the general of the Federation, DSS and BG, for refusing him access to his lawyers. In the originating summon marked, dated and filed December 4, 2023, Kano had demanded 1 billion naira. Reacting, Ejimako vowed to appeal Justice Omotosho ruling. Speaking with the Daily Post, Ejimako said, I am already preparing the notice of appeal. The evidence submitted before the court was re was legion. Some of it is even in the public domain. It was a conspiracy with the judge Omotosho to dismiss that one billion naira suit because why they don't want to pay that money. They don't. I am telling you, they don't. They have seen the possibility of Unam the Kanu leaving prison now. Because anything that will make Unam the Kanu to leave that very detention, Nigerian government will be in debt. So they don't want to be in debt. They don't. And that is the reason why Tunubu himself is still keeping Unam the Kanu in detention. Maybe you don't know. I am telling you now. That is a secret. That is the truth. Hmm? Uh -huh. So, my dear people listening to us out there, 
um it's been wonderful having you in this very channel thank you for giving us your listening ear and also thank you for um for your patience it's been wonderful yes yeah, so now the canal must be released no going back all right so um please let's um let's hear from you on this and then let's know what your opinion about what has just been concluded on this matter don't forget to click on the rest subscribe buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you